This is successful transcarotid artery revascularization after failed transfemoral attempt. The patient is an 80-year-old male with asymptomatic severe right ICA stenosis and a history of esophageal cancer uh, treated with prior neck radiation. Given his age and prior history of neck radiation, we offer him transfemoral carotid artery stenting. Through right groin axis, we used an H1 catheter and stiff angle guide wire to traverse the arch and select the right common carotid artery without any high intensity transient signals noted on TCD until contrast injection, which again confirmed the severe right ICA stenosis on AP uh, and lateral projections. The right external carotid artery was then selected, the guide wire and a 90 centimeter six front sheath was then placed over the wire just proximal to the bifurcation. A filter wire EZ was then used to cross the high-grade stenosis and deployed in the distal ICA with uh, several hits noted on TCD at this time, signifying emboli. We subsequently attempted to cross the lesion with an 8mm wall stent uh, without predilating, which is our standard, uh, standard practice, but were ultimately unsuccessful and again noted several hits on TCD despite the filter being in place. At this point, we chose to predilate the lesion with a 2 mm uh, by 20 and subsequently a 4 by 20 balloon, uh, but were ultimately unsuccessful at crossing the lesion with the same wall stent or subsequently with an exact stent, same size, as our sheath continued to kick back and not give us enough support. At this point, we decided to stop given the extensive emboli on TCD and recaptured the embolic protection device without issues. Our plan was to return to the operating room for TCAR versus endarterectomy. A small 2 cm vertical incision was made between the two heads of the right sternocleidomastoid, and approximately 3 cm of the right common carotid artery was exposed. The patient was fully systemically heparinized, and a single fibroproline first string suture was placed. A micropuncture needle, wire, and subsequent sheath were then inserted, and no hits were noted on TCD during dissection or cannulation of the artery. The tip of a short amplatz wire is then inserted into the external carotid and the 8 French silk road delivery sheath is placed and secured into position with a single silk suture. After ultrasound guided access of the right common femoral vein, the 8 French venous return sheath is also inserted and the flow reversal system is brought to the field flushed and connected. Passive flow reversal is allowed and the common Carotid artery is clamped proximal to the sheath and flow reversal is then set to high. TCD confirmed flow reversal by flattening of the waveform in the MCA and subsequent recruitment of collateral blood flow from the circle of willis resulting in anti-grade MCA flow. At this point we inserted an 014 wire and the lesion uh, was predilated with a 2 millimeter balloon again without any hits noted on TCD now during flow reversal. A 9 by 30 millimeter self-expanding in route transcarotid stent was easily placed across the lesion and deployed without difficulty and again no ebolic events were noted. Completion angiogram showed incomplete effacement of the stent so a 5 millimeter balloon was used to post dilate the stent and no hits were noted during angioplasty and completion angiogram showed complete effacement of the stent. Flow reversal was continued for three minutes and then the carotid clamp is released. Flow reversal is stopped. Nanograde flow in the right ICA is reestablished and confirmed on TCD. Blood was returned to the femoral vein and the femoral vein sheath was pulled. And the 8 French carotid sheath is also removed and the pre-existing 5 proline per string suture is tied down. At this point, heparin is reversed, and hemostasis was obtained, and the incision was closed in layers. As noted, there's brisk upstroke in the MCA waveform on TCD, and the previously noted spectral broadening had largely resolved. The patient did well postoperatively and was discharged the following day. Again, this video demonstrates that TCAR is a reasonable option in patients who initially failed transfemoral carotid stenting and can provide the adequate support needed to cross a difficult high-grade carotid lesion. Thank you.